if you look at the map of Africa, 30% of the sides of African countries are straight lines. Mm -hmm. There is no straight line in anyone's home. No. How can you draw straight lines splitting people? It is so ironic. You only do it when it's real estate. Exactly. exactly. It is only, it is even ironic that the Maasai, you will find the, the Maasai people in both sides of a river. In East Africa, you will find some of them in Zimbabwe. Um, I say Zimbabwe. Kenya. Uh, in mm -hmm. Kenya and Tanzania. Yes. And but in one... Uganda, uh, the there's a, there's the a particular Luo. people yeah. who, the, in Uganda, one, uh, they're brothers. One became a, a minister of technology, and his brother in Kenya was the vice president. Yeah. The, yeah. There so. you go. So one body of people but under two different imperial flags. Mm -hmm. so, so, uh, so, brother, I you quickly, quickly. I paint the picture. Yeah. Let me paint the, the picture in, quickly. Why did you bring up Berlin? Because of this meeting concerning Libya now being held, ironically. <laughs> in Berlin. Yes. In Berlin. But, asking, you know, asking another power to leave Africa. Scramble. The same Africa you came into. Right. Scramble. Listeners, listeners, you cannot have this even written up in Hollywood. That's what Brother Desoji essentially is telling you. You can't. Yeah, they're not going to approve it for production. You know? Come you on. Can't. You yeah. can only pro have it produced in the real world, really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was I was in stitches when I was, I'm like, no, did I just read that? And I, I don't believe you saved this for yourself, but it's good <laughs> that all of us are getting this exclusive on Kubo, Kumbo Kenny. Yes. <laughs> even his, even his co-host, you know? <laughs> Brother, can you save what you have so I can read a little more from the... But, but yes, before yes, you do, let bill? me just respond quickly. I, uh, two minutes. Please. Before, before you do. Brother Adesoji, you're done? Yes, yes, yes. Right. For now. For now. So for, now. For, me, for me, the thing that came as I was doing my research, I said, okay, because again, that's my mind. I ask myself questions. When I see something, I'm like, could this be? What if? And I said to myself, does the U.S. have private military contractors in Africa? And as I was doing that research, I came across Kaki. Their website is caci.com and Academy. And Kaki is CACI. And I'm going to quickly read this. According to their website, Kaki's website, they are a $6.2 billion company whose mission and enterprise technology and expertise play a vital role in the U.S.'s national security, safeguarding U.S. troops and enabling the U.S. government to deliver cost-effective and high-quality support for all Americans. Remember, they're doing it globally, but it's for America. It was founded in 1962 by Herb Kerr, that's H-E-R-B, first name, last name K-A-R-R, -R, and Harry, as in Prince Harry, but not Prince Harry, Markowitz, mm -hmm. that's M-A-R-K-O-W-I-Z. The second company, which is a private contractor, military private contractor is academy a c a d e m i it's a company within the constellis family of companies this is how they hide these things it goes in under bureaucracy you can't even find it unless you go digging constellis is c o n s t e l l i s and according to their website they exist to serve their customers helping them navigate diverse environments and guiding them to success no matter where they are in the world. And my question was, who gave this organization authority to navigate diverse environments in the world in Africa? So these are the questions that we need to ask ourselves. If the U.S. is pointing at Russia and saying, you cannot have private military, private contractors in Africa, why is the U.S. turning around and doing it? And then does that validate the sanctions? No, it doesn't is the answer. But go ahead, Brother Alimadi. Uh, those companies you mentioned are very notorious. Uh, they actually are a company called Blackwater, mm -hmm. which, you know, the brother will uh, give some of the crimes they were committing in African countries and, and elsewhere around the world, by the way. Mm -hmm. yes. And that is why they were, they were so notorious. They were forced to change the names, you know. So this, uh, whether it's Academy... Kaki. Whether it's Z, same, you know, yeah. XE, it's still the same, <laughs> same know, people. Uh, iteration of black water. Listen, and that's what I, I about. wish I could change my name every time I do something bad. There you go. <laughs> so, so, okay. So, brother, can you save this 